And there we are, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Legend Series FIFA here in Falkenburg in front of the Holland Casino where the WPT is also happening. And we have Brian. Uh, how do you actually uh, pronounce your last name? Uh, Mujard. Mujard. Yes. Brian Mujard. My, my girlfriend, because she uh, also grew up in Belgium, yes. she told me that it's Mujard because... Uh, the, the town that she's living in is called Huilat, and it's also written with O-E, uh, okay. or it was in the past, they switched it up, but <laughs> Belgium uh, is a very massive, uh, messy land in terms of languages, because you have so many different, you you have Flams, you have uh, <laughs> French, <Flams. Yeah. laughs> you can spell it, you can spell it, no, yes, yeah, there are um, only two languages, it's, uh, no, three, actually three, you have Dutch, yes, um, French and a little bit uh, German. Yeah, a little bit German as yeah. well. Uh, like uh, the um, how do you open? Open. Yeah, they're they speaking their uh, German uh, okay. language. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, coming up for you is the decider match. Uh, Brian, who's joining me in casting here, he's already through to the finals. So whoever is going to win this, it's going to be Flago against Dr. Ahano. The winner of this is going to join Brian in the final of the Legend series. And you can already see them joking. They have a very close relation. They're friends and they know a lot about each other. And they're really enjoying their time. And that's what I like to see. That's a very good picture that we get here. And also, I really enjoy casting for you. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen out there, are also enjoying our stream today. If there's anything that we can improve, if there's anything that we can do better, Please let us know, or if you anything, if you like anything in particular, we're also happy about some positive feedback. But there we go, jumping into the game. It's Belgium once again for Flago, Dr. Ahano bringing Manchester United to the table. Uh, I know that Brian also likes to play Manchester United. So what do you like about Manu in FIFA 18? Well, I think uh, Manchester United is um, the best team in FIFA 18. Uh, because you have, uh, yeah, they are physically very strong. You have two very good strikers, Lukaku and Martial. You have Pogba, you have Emkitarian. So it's it's a very um, complete uh, team. They have also very good uh, goalkeeper, very good defense. They have everything. But like everyone knows, um, the biggest tournaments are not played with normal teams. It's exactly. with ultimate it's team. Ultimate so. Team. I'm not really caring about uh, I'm using Manchester or something. Yeah. It's just because today is this tournament kind of teams. And yes, that is why I take uh, Manchester. Yeah. Okay. So some insight on that. We're already 10 minutes into the game. Nothing happening so far. No real chance created. This might be the first one. Actually resulting in a goal for Dr. Ahano. So he's leading 1-0. If you could make a choice, if you could choose between Flago or Ohano in the finals, uh, would you prefer playing against one of them? Is there any kind of preference? Um, not really, because in my opinion, every game is 50-50. Every game is 50-50? For me, yeah. Okay. Because it's still a game. Yeah. And is. I'm speaking now uh, about professional gaming. Mm -hmm. I mean, on the, on the biggest stage, you have uh, every game, in my opinion, is 50-50. Not like if you play against a random player that's yeah. playing casual, then it's uh, with professional experience, mm. you win all, um, always mostly. So, but every professional uh, game is for me 50 50. Yeah, totally agree to that. That uh, the professional players in FIFA, they are uh, skill wise, are very closely related to one another. We have Chris Smalling with the ball. His feed changing towards the upper side. Now Shaw. Also interesting to see because I, I might uh, be thinking that uh, Arhano, because he's showing a very controlled play style. He's going for yeah. a slow possession <coughs> game. Yes. And uh, Flago, on the other hand, he's defensively very strong, but also has a very quick attack. So I, I might have thought that you would favor Ooh. one of these play styles, but with the back heel going for a very cheeky attempt here. Not resulting in a goal, though. Nope. It's a very nice build-up. And Ahano really seems to find his rhythm with Manchester United here. Lukaku drawing back the ball. 
not quite nailing the cross towards the other side. His intended target was Shaw. Marcic, very nice interception here in the middle of the parkway. Sometimes these interceptions are too overpowered for me in this game. Yeah, it can really turn the tides. But Martial with the ball to his feet, looking for the pass. Has to go back, Mkhitaryan now in possession. Martial in the box already has to lay it back in the very nice attack. I expected this to result in a goal, but not quite clipping for now. This might open it up for a counter-attack. Just on the top of your screen, you could have expected Hazard to go into the clear. And it looks like Lukaku, he was holding onto his knee, but not injured here. So once again, Dr. Hano in ball possession. Going for a very good build-up and actually taking the shot, but only because he knew he was offside. So FIFA saying no until here, not any further. And it's going to be possession for Flago again. Also starting to look at the players. Uh, we saw them joking just seconds before the match. Yeah, they um, are good friends. Yeah, they are. They are. I met uh, Erhano a few years ago in tournaments. Mm -hmm. I think I know Erhano already four or five years now. No, take four. Oh, and oh, Flago I meet. Oh, goal. Yeah, not only a chance, also a goal. So Flago going for the equalizer here. Even though it was Arhano putting down the gas pedal, and here we are outside of Big Betty. There's the cameraman. We are <laughs> watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice setup. Really enjoy sitting here with yeah. all these FIFA players, all the stars that you like to see. Some great names, some great stories behind these players. And it's really cool that they're joining me for the cast here. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. That's, that's what I wanted to create. I, I hope you. You guys really enjoy the tournament, and it seems it's like a, it's very good tournament. It's nice tournament. It's it's good organizing, good setup. Perfect. It's yes. <laughs> very enjoyable. That's very good to hear. And also, what we always try to do is to create a friendly atmosphere. Yeah. Because I I really don't like these uh, pressured tournaments in esport. Esport has to be a bit more professional. I agree to that. But still, the origin of all eSport and of all gaming was just playing against one each other, maybe sitting on the couch. Uh, it all originated from games like Pong, where you were just playing on one console, one against another. And I think if, if you start to, to just take eSport too seriously, you're losing out on the fun. Um, I understand what you mean, yeah. But when you are playing professional mm. and on the highest level of FIFA, and you go to big tournaments, the sometimes the pressure takes over you know what i mean ah i know yeah and it's it's also good in in order to to get esport to a more professional level you really need production like this you need major tournaments like in counter strike where everything is uh, just uh, set in a real production and it's it's nobody is really smiling everybody's focused concentrated just like you when you play you really need that in order to to show people yeah. that esport is something to really uh consider as a professional sport yes. but also I, I think that you you should never forget that uh, also also the the real football players they they still enjoy playing sometimes you have players like ribery uh which if you if you don't give them the space to really have some fun on, on the pitch they're not going to perform on a good level but here we see Thibaut Courtois running around, having some fun. We have own. a lot of professional football players also playing FIFA. Yeah. Uh, do you do you know David uh, Myler? No. No, he's playing for Hull City, but he's uh, actually um, a streamer and a YouTuber as a professional football player. So this is also very nice to get interacted with. Exactly. Professional football players and professional esport players, you know what I mean? Yeah, imagine if you could do both, that would be crazy, if you could be... Yeah, he does it, he do it. Is he, is he a really good FIFA yeah. player? Yes. Like on professional He's level? Well, I don't know, because I never played him, but what I see, everyone says he's not bad. Yeah, but I, I think it's, it's uh, one thing to be not bad, but it's another thing to really compete on the professional level in FIFA and in real football as well. 
I think that's that's very difficult to do because uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Being a professional in whatever it is doesn't matter. It could also be just uh, uh, boiling potatoes or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but it potatoes. takes it takes a lot of time to to be a professional in anything, and uh, just by by that amount, um, it's difficult to to do it in two different things. You have it. You don't have it. I think. A lot of people don't realize how how much you have to train and spend hours on FIFA to be on the biggest level. Yeah, but that's uh, that's uh, I think that's in every esports and every yeah. sports. It's the same. Uh, a it's lot of people <laughs> just dedicate their lives to that. And from what I hear from you is uh, that you also dedicate your life to FIFA. Yes, that you really want to be a professional on the highest level as high as possible right here we just saw a little pause being taken I, I am lucky enough that I can make my job as my full time uh, my hobby as my full time job at the moment this is what I'm doing uh, every day that is from my passion I uh, work to it to get it to as my job and it works yeah it works really good uh, through to the finals just waiting for the second participant in that and it's either going to be a Flagger or a Hano. Yeah. We have a very closely contested game here. One to one, the score line. And we have Dries Mertens. This might be a great chance here for Belgium. But just a little bit too high. So the ball flying over the crossbar. And Ohano. And with a chance on himself to maybe find a way to score a goal. With the pass towards Mikitarian, on to Lukaku and actually scoring the goal, two to one the score line against Flago and at least a little smile. So that's the maximum of emotions, which we've seen today from Dr. Ohano. But that was very well shot here by Romelu Lukaku. A great pass by Mikitarian. He's a beast in the 60 meter box. Yeah. <laughs> And now it has to be Flago to find an answer for that. He already lost the momentum on the kickoff. That's so overpowered kickoff momentum. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that FIFA will maybe patch uh, that kind of thing away? Uh, they have to patch more things than only the kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you wishing for? Just name three of them. If it's more than three, we. <laughs> well, it's, it's very, for me. Bring the patch before this patch, uh, the yeah. gameplay back from before the patch, mm. and just patch the goalkeepers and the kick of leash. And for me, it's perfect because now defending is like FIFA 17 again. Too much help of the um, uh, computers. Uh, you think so? Lago was saying that defending is very, uh, very difficult for him. But here we have him on the break. But uh, for me, no. For me, it's it's comparing before the pa patch. Mm. Is this one? Again, like FIFA 7, not not like FIFA so 17. So defending is too easy? Not, It's not easy. FIFA 17 was easier, but it's easier than before the patch. Okay. And that's how I don't like. Yeah, but defensively, you're also uh, one of the strongest here. Uh, also hitting the goal post with the shot. So Flacco, he's desperately trying to find the equalizer. But still 70 minutes into the game. It's Dr. Ahano leading by just a single goal. But they didn't promise too much. It is very tightly contested. Uh, Flagger told me that uh, before the tournament, in terms of preparations, they played 15 games, and it was 8 to 7 for Dr. Ohano. Oh. So they are on a very close skill level. They are uh, two very good players. And there we go now. Uh, Dr. Ohano, with a lot of players in the box, might find. A way to score and Lukaku, but with that skill move just landing outside of the pitch. So the ball belongs to Thibaut Courtois, kicking it away. And the Belgium is able to retain possession, but not for long. So Arhano with another chance to maybe build up one of this uh, one of these uh, surgeon attacks, that's what I'd like to call them. Another pass, this time going for the cross. But the defender a step ahead of the attacker. Axel Witzel now 
to get out with Eden Hazard. But the play broken up just before it got dangerous. There's Matic. Terrain once again. Martial very much into the territory of the opponent. And the game not really slowing down. Quickly taking that throw in. Victorian once again not finding the open space. Turning left, turning right. Rashford. Pogba, Lukaku. Not getting enough power behind that shot here. There's Axel Witzel. This is the trophy it's all about today. So the prize money, it's 1,000 euros. The winner takes it all and he also gets to take home this trophy. Eden Hazard. I go with Axel Witzel. This might be in position to get off a shot. As he went for another pass. I didn't really like the angle which he used for this shot. I think Axel Witzel was in a better position to score a goal. Michael Lamb now with the pass to Dries Mertens. And the dangerous cross. Kevin De Bruyne. So the pressure still up high. Flago not letting loose here on Dr. Rahano. Perfect tackle. Yeah, very nice tackle here. Michael on. A chip pass with the cross coming in. But in the end, the play broken up again. But Ahano right now not able to make a controlled build-up. He's pushed towards the back of his own territory. Marcus Rashford going up for the header, losing Nangalan now, trying to get the shot, but it's going to be just another corner situation here. Delivered very short onto Dries Mertens. Nangalan, and this might be shot for Eden Hazard. What's our company? <laughs> very close, and the goalkeeper is just starting to be the MVP of his team here for Dr. Ohano, who's still leading by goal. 90 minutes are through. We have three added minutes and it's over so ohano wins the first game of the best of three series two to one very close very good game tightly contested from both sides what do you expect for the second game brian i think flaco has to come now so there will be more space for ohano in the counter attack i think and um yeah i think it will be a game that flaco will Attacking a lot, and um, Erhano will take the, uh, the, the moment to score the goal. So you think our uh, flagger will just take too much risk? Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah. But not too much risk because he has to take risk now. But do you think so? I, I think he should just uh, stick to his play style because it was a very close game. As you were saying, it's it's about a 50-50 situation. It's just a coin flip. So if you just stick to your strategy, just try to, to win this game with the strategy that s nearly worked last game because he had a couple of shots to the goal post. One of them were just uh, close off target. Mm -hmm. So I think he should not take too much risk here no not too much risk but i think he has to come to score a goal you know okay. I mean? so i think uh, erhan can play more decent yeah you're the professional so you definitely know about the game uh, let's see what flago decides to do for now orhano is the one putting down the gas pedal uh, he is having a little bit more possession than the belgian team Kevin De Bruyne now with a very slick pass as Romelu Lukaku in the end stopped by Chris Smalling and Martial not able to control the ball so it's just rolling out of the pitch crossing the sideline Shaw now waiting for a very long pass into the run of Martial this might be a very nice crossing position but he's running into the box setting up the shot for Lukaku Saved once again. Pogba with the cross. But he's only hitting the head of the defender here. Oh, look at this once again. The chance. Oh. Romelu Lukaku not nailing it here for Dr. Ahano. 
And just as the first game, this is going to be a very close one. You can already sense that. Witzel being dispossessed here in midfield again. Lukaku with the ball, tightly contested. Could get it away, laying it towards his own teammate. Shaw on the left side with Martial. Passing forward, passing backwards. Mkhitaryan might take Shaw as a option again, but Lukaku is covered by the goalkeeper, so no chance to get to the header here. Mkhitaryan dispossessed again. Ohana really keeping up the pressure here. Good pressing from him. Mkhitaryan will just look to make another tackle. This is going to be an attack from the Belgian side, and Lukaku gets the shot off. Lago also not successful in creating the first goal for himself. Valencia not able to control the ball. And once again, Mkhitaryan is doing all the defensive work. This time... It's a nice game. Yeah, it's a very good game. For now, 0-0 zero, zero is the scoreline. I don't know. This might even be the longest game without a goal that we have had today. Yeah. Taking over 27 minutes of in-game time already. Arjano versus Flago. Nine Golan now in possession. So Flago is now the one to take over. He's got the time, he's got the space, he's got the players. Can he make something out of it? Axel Witzel trying to give the ball to one of its teammates, but not for long. He stopped. The great ball forward. Lukaku is free on the other side. Manchester United now on the breakaway. Martial waiting for the man to come, but taken out by a tactical foul. I think Flago knew exactly what he was doing here. But this is something to look out for. The free kicks from Dr. Ahano. Oh, it's got... Oh, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen some good ones today. But this was one of the yeah, worst ones. Not that good. But Ahano is definitely capable of doing something special with these free kicks. Probably we are about Perfect to see ball. this. It's gold. This is gold. Thing. Yeah. Nice call. Nice call. Brian saw it from the beginning. And it results in a goal. So Belgium is now leading. Flago is now in front. What do you think? Is that uh, the moment when he can turn off the gas pedal just a little bit? Maybe set himself back, go into control play style? Or is it too early to do that? Uh, what I'm doing, I keep playing uh, aggressive to score the second one. And then you can play ball position more. That's what I'm preferring to do. So you're only starting to play safe on the second goal? Yeah, because okay. one goal is not enough. Definitely, there's always uh, the space for something yeah. crazy to happen. But for now, there's Dries Mertens with the cross. Resulting in a corner once again. Very quick pass, Nainggolan had the chance to shoot and actually nailed it! So Flago leading by two right here. That's exactly the situation you were talking about. He's saying something to Dr. Rohana, maybe like, look at this, that was a slick goal. But there we go, T0. So probably he might just be a little bit more defensive here. And after a 2-1 victory in the first leg of the best of three series, that was offside. Even I could see that. This is going to be the first time we, have a, we will see a third game. This might be the first time. So this is not over. It's no, no. I, yeah, 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 I know. I know. I know. This might it, be, it, it yeah. could be. It could be. But I was wondering about that as well. Because if you say that each game is a 50-50, I, I think that we should maybe always go into the, the final third game of the best of three series. But for now, this might be the first one to really go all the way. Yes. And there we go, it really looks good for Flago, even though this is only the first half. But Lukaku looking dangerously again, and Kevin De Bruyne. Had to take a shot there, I think. Exactly. But yeah, I'm, I'm also loving passing until 
the perfect moment. You see it a lot in, uh, in online play, uh, online games when you play for a champion or something like that. If you play against a professional FIFA player, they are keeping passing until they find the right space to have a shot on goal. And if you play against a random player, casual players, sometimes they shoot from 30, 40 meter distance mm -hmm. and goal. You yeah. will, uh, the professional FIFA players are not doing that a lot. Yeah, we see uh, a couple of changes coming in. He's going to 3-5-2, I think. At Hanu. Yeah, Ahanu really likes to play with only three defenders. Yeah? He yeah. told you? No, Flago told me. Oh, okay. But he's his uh, training partner, so I think that's a valid information. Especially on this game, it's possible. Because the passing is so good, the true balls are so good. Mm. So. Yeah, it's uh, way more pressure, and I feel like uh, that's the right decision to take here. Ahanu needs to create some more aggressive play. Yeah. He, he really has to get he the attack to, going. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I, what I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, the leading with two goals, Flago might just want to close this out and then concentrate on the third game. Maybe create some more chances. It's not, like you said, it's not over yet. Yeah. Because in this game, the goal, uh, to make goals, it's, it's easier than FIFA 17. So it can be perfectly 2-2 two -two or 2-3 two -three or 3-0. Three -no. so exactly, and there's the header coming in. So exactly what we were just talking about. Dr. Ahano finds a way to get a goal closer towards his opponent. 2-1 two -two the scoreline. Romelu Lukaku with a very nice header. And there's Alderweireld. Over the groiner. Looking for another opening now. Flago once again has to find a goal in order to get some good space. But Lukaku is through. Is this going to be a goal? And a nice chip shot landing in the back of the net. Very well done by Dr. Ahano. That was just a very solid shot. And just like this, we got the equalizer. We got a tight game That's on it. our screen. And it was, told. yeah, <laughs> you. You, you're <laughs> some kind of Nostradamus. <laughs> Nostra what? Nostradamus, the one that could already foresee <laughs> yeah. everything, so you're telling the future. <laughs> <laughs> I will stop playing FIFA and go telling the future. Yeah, you could be a FIFA commentator, just always predicting what's going to happen. <laughs> People are going to hate you because you're already spoiling it. But here we go, just returning with a goal for himself. That's Flago. And look at that, Arhano is not happy about that. Oh man, I just scored the equalizer and Flago is like, mm, I'm sorry, but here we go. Flago just leading again. And how quickly can Arhano return this? 55 minutes into the game and this already looks dangerous once again. But Flago able to release some of the pressure here. Romelu Lukaku with the pass towards Marshall, but who? Oh, look at this, what a crazy game right now this is just unbelievable we have goals on each side every few seconds this is fifa 18 this is fifa 18 welcome to fifa 18 ladies and gentlemen dr ahano and flago they are really shooting like madmen nine goal on so how long is this tight scoreline gonna last this time you can maybe count the seconds and a great pass once again <laughs> oh my god <laughs> And it's Flago with Eden Hazard. I, I feel Crazy. like from the 50th to the 59th minute, we've seen four goals. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's correct, I think. Yeah, yeah, they have four goals that's, in nine minutes. That's crazy. They, they're just releasing it all. If you see it in real, in real matches, it will be like match fishing or something like that. Yeah, unle <laughs> unleash the beast. Are we going to see another one? Yeah, this, this might even be another one. Oh, but the shot is wide. It's off the target and we will see another tactical change coming in. Maybe to just slow down the pace of the game as it is. Yeah, we see uh, Flago draw back one of the strikers as he is leading right now. Well, he will change to 4-2-3-1, two, two, I, I see, because he wants to stop uh, the 3-5-2 of um, Erhano. Mm. And the 4-2-3-1 two, two, is a perfect formation to cut the lines, uh, the pass lines to... And that is wings. exactly the point where uh, football tactics uh, come in again, because it's the same in, in real football as yeah. well. You, you have about the formation. You have to think you about it. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's uh, that's good because also I think that uh, a, a very good FIFA player because he knows all the tactics, he knows how the people should play, yeah. how the players should be aligned on the field. I think uh, if a FIFA player would go through the process of, of uh, trying to be a football coach, I think he could very well be one of the better coaches. Well, um, I was a, a coach of uh, young, uh, young players from 13 years old. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was sometimes um, when you when you give training to the guys, and you start uh, talking with the players around about FIFA 18, uh, FIFA, mm -hmm. they are um, how do you say in English? I don't know how to to tell in English. But Just describe yeah, it. Yeah, they want to talk about FIFA uh, of tactics. Mm -hmm. They want to bring it on the field also yeah. in real life. Yeah, it makes perfect sense because you can you can just see which tactics are working. But there we go, the equalizer. It took some time. Well, by some time, I mean another 10 minutes in game, which is about uh, one and a half minutes in real life. But there we go, Dr. Ahane once again with the equalizer. And we see the tactics now coming in. We haven't seen so many pauses in all the games before. So right now, it's the, it's the third pause already yeah. in this game. And they're taking it very seriously. And look at Flago. He's not happy again because he was leading once again. He, he was leading 2-0 in the beginning. Yeah. And now he has to fight for the victory in this best of three series. That's correct. So, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Ahane giving him a hard time. But that's what we love about esports that's what we love about fifa closely contested games it's nice to see that good friends now are taken very seriously exactly they're the calling themselves stage. brothers so they're oh, very so nice. closely related okay. and there we go four to four the score line manchester united versus the national team of belgium nine golan Passing back to Vincent company. No dispossession for now. Belgium still holding on to the ball. And this is going to be the keeper's ball. 18 minutes left to play. Otherwise, we would go into classic overtime. So Marshall now trying to get this pass towards his opponent, not quite able to do so. Lukaku up front looking for options. Help is arriving. Hazard now. Dries Mertens not finding a way to shoot, but there's De Bruyne. Turning around, turning left, turning right. Finding angle on. There's Eden Hazard. With but left he is stopped by David De Gea. Dries Mertens. Drawing back the ball, a nice cross coming in. Derhano now has the chance to maybe go for a counter attack, but he's just stopped before breaking away. Vertonghen, Hazard, Munier, and back to Vertonghen. So right now, Flaggers also looking for a controlled build up, doesn't want to risk anything. 4 4. If Flagger loses this, it's going to be the end for him in the tournament. Because Dr. Ahano, he won the first game of the best of three series. And there you can see the trophy once again. That one will be handed out to the winner of it all, to the winner of the Legend series. De Bruyne. 85 minutes are nearly through. Another chance to maybe create a quick counter-attack. Valencia, a very quick player on the left wing with the help of Mkhitaryan. Finds a very slick pass towards Lukaku. But stopped once again by a solid defense here from Flago. Losing the ball in midfield, that might turn it all around. Lukaku already has the ball, very quick passes, just one touch football. Victorian, Lukaku once again. Can he find a man? He does! And there's the goal for Dr. Ahano! 5-4 to four in the last minute of regulation time. 
And yeah, he's happy about it, but he's directly talking to Flago, explaining just what happened. You see, mate, I just played this and that, get that pass, and that's why I scored the goal. And he's like, ah, oh, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I always like to pretend that I know what they're talking about, but actually I don't. Maybe I have the kickoff boost now. <laughs> yeah, five five. maybe, maybe. It might just be another quick return, as we've seen so many times in this game earlier. Flago, he is trying to find his place. Hazard, Nainggolan. A lot of yeah. white jerseys it's over in the backfield. I think so too. Maybe. But he's losing the ball once again. Carrasco. Very defensive approach here by Dr. Ohana. Wants to cement his victory. Gets the ball away. And that is it. Dr. Ohana is going to be victorious in the decider match of the Legend Series FIFA. And you can see the frustration in the eyes of Flago. He really didn't want to lose to his buddy here. But what he told me beforehand was that even if Arhano wins the tournament, he's going to be happy for him. And I, I really believe that. That's nice. But for now, you lost the game. So you're at least a little bit frustrated. Of course you're frustrated when you lose a game. And if, if you... Especially in the final game, you are a little bit frustrated, of course. Definitely. But the finals are still coming up. Yeah. Right. You're yeah. up. You're yes. up. You got to play against Dr. Ohana. Yes, nice. How uh, are you feeling? You think you can make it? Everyone can make it. Everyone can yeah, make it. All right, make I, it, I I'll tell Richie. Richie will play for you. <laughs> 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 Everyone yeah, can make it. I'll, I'll just take it literally. No, but I mean, this yeah. is what uh, Erhano and me, I think it's 50-50. Best of five. Yeah. This means we have uh, the first one wins three games is the winner, so it will be 50-50. I'm going to be very happy to cast this game. I'm really looking forward to see you both play because I expected Arhana to be the clear favorite for this tournament, actually. But the more I got to saw you play, now I think that you have a very good shot. So I totally agree. It's going to be a very close, a very tight game. So ladies yeah. and gentlemen, stick around. Don't go away. We are going to take another quick break, set the players up on the stage, and then we will be right back with the grand final of the Legend Series FIFA. Welcome to Valkenburg for WPT Deepstacks Netherlands. <laughs> Following record numbers last time out in Marrakesh, everyone is excited for the next stop on the WPT Deep Stacks Tour here at the Holland Casino in Valkenburg, set amongst some of the most picturesque countryside in the whole of the Netherlands. Now let's follow Olympia down to the poker room. Some familiar faces have already taken their seats in the WPT Deepstacks Netherlands main event. They include WPT Deepstacks Amsterdam winner Thijs Menko and WPT main event Amsterdam final tableist Jan Jansma. We're also looking forward to later this weekend when the World Poker Tour teams up with ELC Gaming for a first of its kind collaboration of poker and esports. find out more about that exciting partnership and to follow all the updates live from Holland Casino Valkenburg, head to WPT.com. Play fun, exciting poker at ClubWPT.com today. Never gonna give you up I'm never gonna let you go Never gonna say goodbye 